Ready, let's do our warm up. So for our warm up today, we are going to, I'm gonna go around in kind of like a circle here. So why don't we start just by kind of jogging in a circle just to get ourselves warmed up. All right, now can you, can you skip? Can you go step and hop, step and hop, step and hop. Step and hop, step and hop, step and hop. Good. Now, let's do our penguin walk. Remember our penguin walk? Straight legs, toes are off the ground. We're going to penguin waddle around our circle. Waddle like a penguin. Waddle, 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 waddle. All right. Now we're going to walk up on our tippy toes. So now our heels come off the floor and we're up on our tippy toes with straight arms. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can. See, my legs aren't bending that much. Just walk nice and straight up on those tippy toes. From up high, we're gonna to go to down low and we're going to do a bear crawl. Our hands are flat and we're gonna to try to keep our legs as straight as we can as we crawl around in our circle. All right, keep going around. Then, from a bear, we're going to turn into a crab. So we're going to put our feet flat, hands flat, and we're going to try to walk around like a crab. Round and around we go. Excellent. Good. Are we feeling warmed up? Or should we hop like yeah. a bear? I hop think like a bear. I just got two shots. Oh, you got two shots? Oh, I don't like shots, but they can be good for us. All right, mm -hmm. thanks for coming today, Blakely. Why don't we sit down on the floor and we'll do our stretches, okay? Can anyone tell me what what position I'm in? Battle. Battle, good job, girls. All right, so let's put our arms up high. We're gonna clap four times. Ready to go, one, two, three, and four. Reach for one leg. Now, while you're doing this, you want to make sure you keep your leg flat on the ground, okay? If it's starting to go up like this, just go up. No, no, no. Down and reach as far as you can. Come back up. Let's do three claps. Ready? We go one, two, and three. Reach for your other foot. Remember, try to keep that leg flat on the ground. Reach for your foot. Excellent. Come back up high. Two big claps, go one and two, reach for the middle. Reach as far as you can. Good. And up high, one big clap, and we're gonna bring our legs to the middle into our pike, okay? I'll go like this so you can see. Now, who can tell me what my toes are doing? Point. They're pointing, good job. Now, what are they doing? That's good. Can you guys point your toes with me? And let's flex them. And let's point and flex. Can you point one foot and flex the other foot? That one's kind of tricky. And then can you switch them? So now you're pointing the other and flexing the other. And switch and switch and switch. Good. Now we're going to flex both of our feet. We're going to put our arms up nice and high and we're going to reach for our feet, for our toes rather, four times. Ready? Go one, all the way back up, two, all the way back up, three, and four. Good. And let's lift our leg up and make our foot go round and round as we draw a picture. Does anyone want to tell us what they're drawing today? A clam. Yeah. I'm going to draw a clam. In Elsa Castle. Oh, I like all of these drawings. I love it. Very creative. Now we're going to bring our knee in and we're going to give it a hug because it's so good to see it. Hello, knee. How are you? And then if you want to give your knee a kiss, you can. I always do because I appreciate that they're, they're working. Let's lift our other leg and roll our foot. I'm going to draw an orange. We can draw another picture. Thank you. 
Anyone else want to say what they're drawing? It's okay if you don't. It could be a secret drawing. All right. Give that knee a squeeze. Oh, and a kiss. Good. Butterfly, feet together. Fold your feet together, flap your wings. Flap, 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 flap. And flap fast. And flap slow motion. All right, good job. And flap regular. Okay. And crisscross applesauce, arms out wide. One big clap. Roll your wrists. And shake them. We're going to go a little bit faster here so we can get into our activity and more of our gymnastics. Shake them high. Shake them low. Shake them in front. All right. Shake everything. Whew. Here we go. Ready? Let's do our table. Can you do do you think you girls can do your table, but have your pinky fingers touch behind you? So get your hands closer together behind you. Pinkies touch, or as close as you can, then lift the belly up. It's tricky. And let's come back down. And let's do one more table. Ready? Lift that belly up. and come back down. Now we're going to grab, we're going to take each of our hands, we're going to grab our shins, okay? You guys know your shins? So we've got, we've got our foot, our ankle, our knee, our shin, all right? We're going to take our hands, we're going to grab our shins. We're going to do our rock and roll, okay? So you grab your shins, remember to round your back. If your back is flat, this is what happens when you rock and roll. You get stuck. If you can round it, tuck your head in, round that back, you rock back, and then you roll forward. Okay, let's, let's do our rock and roll. Can you guys do three for me? Don't let go of your shins. Rock back, roll forward. If you need help getting a forward momentum, keep holding your shins, but push your legs forward, push your feet forward. All right, don't let go though. All right, so yep, you rock back, you roll forward. Good job. All right, let's get right into our activity today. So we have some, some more time for our gymnastic skills. We're doing upside down things today. So I have a few different, I think I have a handful of poses for yoga that require us to be a little bit upside down. Okay, so first, I want you to pretend like you're on the Africa, African safari. It's really hot out. There's a lion over there, giraffes over there, um, wildebeest, if they're a wildebeest on the African safari, not sure. Okay, but now you are an elephant. So ready? <laughs> Perfect. You guys are ready. Let's stand up. We're gonna get our feet a little bit apart. Now we're gonna take our, our hands, we're gonna put them together in front of us. This is our elephant trunk, okay? So we've got our feet apart, our hands together. We're gonna to breathe in through our nose and we're gonna lift our arms up. So ready, breathe in, arms up. And then we're gonna breathe out through our mouth and put our arms down. <sighs> this is called elephant breath. Breathe in br through your nose, bring your arms up. Breathe out through your mouth, arms down. One more time. In through the nose, arms up, and out through the mouth. And it turns out that we are a bunch of elephants that have been taking dust baths. So we need to give ourselves a bath from the African safari pond. Take your trunk, go ahead, put it in the water, and go, 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 go. Drink up the water, take your trunk, Bend it back at yourself and blow it out. And now you've given yourself a proper bath as an elephant. That is our elephant breath. The next one we're gonna do is called airplane. All right, you're gonna need some space all around you. Start by standing up tall, hands by your side. All right, 
Now watch. Can you do it with me? We're standing up tall, hands by our side. Bring our hands together in front. Put one foot back. Good. From here, we're gonna lean forward and we're gonna lift our back leg. Whoop, starting to wobble. And once you get your back leg up, put your arms out and you're an airplane. Try to keep that balance. And now we're gonna go in for the landing. Bring the hands back in, lift or bring your leg back down. Arms by your side. Good. Let's try that with our other leg, okay? <laughs> so stand nice and tall. Put your other leg behind you. Bring your hands up together. Then we're gonna lean forward. Lift your back leg. Arms go out and you're an airplane. <laughs> And whoop, bring your hands back together, foot back down. You've landed safely. Good job. Does anybody have a dog? No. Thumbs up if you have a dog. I do. You do? All right. Some of us may, some of us don't. I don't have a dog. So I'm going to be my own dog. So maybe you guys can pretend to be a dog with me too, because we're going to do the downward dog yoga position, OK? So if you have a really good bark, if you have a really good bark, you can bark. You don't, you to, you don't need your real dog. Right. Ready? So we're gonna. Right, are you guys ready to do downward dog? Right. So we're gonna sit on our feet like this, okay? And then we're gonna put our arms straight in front of us, and we're gonna feel a nice stretch. Forward. Make sure we're doing the stretch. Now we're going to bring our bum off of our feet. Our arms are nice and straight. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our toes and we're going to put them on the ground. Then we're going to lift our knees off the ground and keep our legs straight, feet flat, hands flat, and you are in the downward dog. If you want to wag the tail, you can lift the leg and you can wag the tail. Just doing different things that get upside down. Put back down and you can come out of your position. Coach that. Yes. Oh, I love that dog. My, my dog is this one. Oh, your dog is that one? Oh, look at that puppy. Nice. <laughs> Looks very, very relaxed. All right, guys. Thank you for showing me your stuffed animal dog or your real dog. That's cool. We're going to do, um, I used to have a dog when I, when I was a little boy at my parents' house, but I don't have a dog at my house now. We're, now we're going to pretend to be a gorilla, okay? So can you guys get in a squat? Okay. You're up on your feet like this, hands on the ground in front of you. Now we're gonna straighten out our legs a little bit. Get them nice and straight. You're gonna take your arms, we're gonna hang down in front and we're gonna swing from one side to the other like a gorilla. All right, and that is our gorilla. Our last one is turtle, all right? And we're gonna go deep inside of our turtle shells together, okay? For this one, we're gonna start by sitting on the ground with our legs in front and just our hands on our legs like this. Then we're going to bring our hands up and our feet kind of together into a butterfly. I'll go like this so you can see it better. Feet together like in a butterfly, hands are up. Now our hands are gonna come down through our legs, underneath our knees, we're starting to go in the shell. And then you wanna tuck your head and you are a turtle in the shell. Is that, is everyone in the shell? Yeah. I can't see you because I'm so in my shell. So totally awesome, squirt. Yeah. Cuckoo, could you dude? 
All right, and come on out of your shell. Woo! That right. was hot in my shell. So those are just some different fun yoga positions you guys can do to get yourself a little bit upside down. Now we're gonna do some gymnastic skills that put us upside down. Do you, if you need a quick drink of water, go ahead, get a, swip, a sip or a swip. We're gonna get started right away. So we, we got a few different things to do that are gonna put us upside down, all right? Our first one is really straightforward. You're gonna to wanna to stand up. All right, you're gonna put your feet together and you're gonna take your hands and you're just gonna reach down and touch your toes. But while you do it, try to keep your legs straight. Just getting our body used to being upside down. All right, back up nice and slow. And we're gonna do that one more time. Focus on keeping those legs straight. Come back down, touch your toes. And come back up. All right. Now, the next one is a little bit tricky, but I know you guys can do it. This one is the inchworm. I believe we did this last week, okay? So watch, make sure we, we watch first so you know exactly what to do. You're gonna go on your hands and feet. Hands in front, feet behind you. you I'm only gonna move my hands. My hands go out. Now, I'm going to try to bring my feet as close as I can to my hands without moving my hands. My hands will not move, just my feet. Here go my feet. I'm getting more upside down. Good. Now I move my hands out. Now I move my feet in. And I'm upside down. Like you would be in a handstand, all right? Can you guys try that? This is our inchworm. So you only move your hands or your feet. There you go, Blakely, good. Now move your hands out, Blakely. Good, good job. There you go, Ava and Leora. Oh, make sure you're just moving your feet or your hands. Can I see your inchworm, Evelyn? Move just the hands, then bring the feet all the way to your hands. Good. Now, as we bring our feet to our hands, we're gonna find that we start to get more and more upside down, okay? Looks like you got it there, Amelia, excellent. All right, so that's the inchworm. Let's do one more inchworm each, all right? I'll do it too. Can you guys show me your inchworm? Hands flat, feet flat. Walk your hands out, bring your feet in. When your feet come in, you're upside down. Walk your hands out. Bring your feet in. Good. All right. So we've touched our toes. We've done our inchworm. Now we're going to do a forward roll. Because when you do a forward roll, you have to go upside down. You, you, your body gets what we call inverted. All right. Which means your head's down and your feet are above your head. So make sure you have plenty of space to roll. You have your feet together. Knees are together, bend your knees. Now your hands are gonna go in front of you about a foot or so. See how my hands are out in front of my feet? From here, I'm gonna, see my head? I'm gonna tuck my head before I roll. And then I roll to stand, all right? If you guys wanna go ahead and try it, Make sure you tuck your head as much as you can. Tuck, 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 tuck. Very nice, Ava and Leora. I couldn't see which one of you that was. Great job tucking your head. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Good. Let me see it, Brooke. Can I see your forward roll, Brooke? On my head. Yours too, Blakely. There we go. Make sure you tuck that head, Brooke. Tuck, tuck, tuck. All right, there we go. Try to tuck it so much that the top of your head doesn't touch the floor, okay? That's the goal. Go ahead, Amelia. We're trying to tuck our head so much that it's just the back of our head that touches the ground. There we go. You guys got it. So we're doing different skills that require us to be upside down. So that's our forward roll. 
And all of these skills, guys, you can do many, many, many times on your own at home. I'm showing you a few different ones that you can do, all right? So we've done our forward roll. You guys remember the candlestick? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Candlestick requires us to put our body inverted, all right? Let's try that. You're going to want to make sure you have space behind you, okay? You're going to put your arms up by your ears. You're going to sit back. And then you're gonna rock back, legs go up, roll forward to stand. All right, I'll show you again. Arms up by your ears, sit back, rock back, legs go up, roll forward to stand. There you go. The big thing is making sure you keep your arms by your ears, okay? And then your legs, you want them to point straight up in the air, all right? Right, there you go. There you go, Evelyn. And, and roll forward to stand if you can, okay? What? what? I thought somebody said my name, sorry. Okay, so that's our candlestick. Another one that we can do is a cartwheel, all right? Um, I don't have enough space to do a cartwheel in my living room, family room. Um, so I can't really show you a full out cartwheel, but um, looks like you guys might have enough room. All right, I see you girls going. All right, go ahead, Evelyn. Very nice, Evelyn. Even Leora, I see you guys cartwheeling, good. Here you go, Blakely. Brooke, do you wanna try it? Cartwheel? Here, I'm going to show you guys a, a couple of important parts for your cartwheel, all right? So when you're doing your cartwheel, you have one foot in front of the other, right? So this, my right foot is in front, my left foot's in back. So then what you have to do with your hands is, your hands, if my right foot is in front, my right hand is going to be the first one to touch the ground, okay? Then my left hand, all right? So I'll show you, right foot, I'm not gonna kick up into my handstand because I don't have the space, but my right foot's forward, my right hand. When I land, my left foot is in front, okay? This is, this is important, which, which foot finishes in front, which finishes behind. I'll show you again, my right leg is in front. No, no. So that means my right hand touches first, my left hand goes next, over. Then when you land, your left foot is in front and your right foot is back. If your left foot is in front, your left hand goes down first, then your right hand, kick up and over. Then your right foot is in front and your left foot's in back. It's kind of tricky, but I see you guys working on it, all right? <laughs> Amelia, you want to put your hands on the other side, okay? Because you got your, you have your right foot in front. There you go. So I'm going to show you again because this is this is a common a common uh, mistake or co a common tough spot when we're trying to do our cartwheel. All right, we got to make sure we put the right our hands down on the proper side. So if I've got my right leg in front, my hands are going to go down on the right side, okay? If I've got my left leg in front, my hands are going to go down on the left side of my body, all right? Let's see those cartwheels again. There you go, Brooke. Try to kick up even higher. Evelyn, can I see your cartwheel one more time? Try to finish in a, in a lunge, Evelyn. Yep, finish up tall. Good, very nice. Good work. Trying to watch you all here. I want to do a handstand. Do you guys want to do a handstand? Cartwheel is something that we need to keep working 
and working and working. It takes a, a little while to get it, but you guys are working really hard. I'm very proud of you. Very proud of you for your work, how hard you guys are, are trying on your, um, on your cartwheels here. All right, let's try our handstand now, okay? Because that's another skill that we can do that puts our body upside down. All right? So here we go. I did a handstand into a bridge. You did a handstand into a, into a bridge? Yeah. That's incredible. Awesome. We're just going to do a handstand to start, all right? So let's get ourselves in the starting position for a handstand. Do you guys know what that's called? A lunge. A lunge, good. So everyone in your lunge, all right? From here, we're gonna, we're gonna do the steps of a handstand, okay? So from our, from our lunge, I want you just to lift your back leg a little bit. Whoop, I hit something behind me. Lift your back leg so that you're in a T and then come back up into your lunge. Now, we're gonna lift our back leg a little bit more. Fingers on the ground, back leg up higher and then come back into the lunge. Try to keep that back leg straight. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our hands down. We're going to kick up just a little bit and then come back up into our lunge. There we go. Now, we're going to kick up a little bit, have our feet, have our feet kiss or meet in the middle there and then come back down. I'll show you, I'll show you one more time how I do it. Then my lunge, hands down, up and knee. Finish back in the lunge. Because when we do our handstand, our feet come and they meet together at the very top. What we're doing right now is we're just having them meet kind of midway up. But it looks like you guys are all working some pretty nifty handstands. Let's try that handstand again, all right? We're in our lunge. This time, let's try to kick up as high as we can, all right? Make sure you have space around you, so that way if you fall to the side or forward, you're not going to hit anything, all right? So you're in your lunge, hands down, kick up, and land back into your handstand. There you go, Amelia. Try to land on those feet, though. Keep working, Brooke. Let's see that handstand. Kick up. This size. Do you want to try it again, Blakely? Whoa, there's the, there's the bridge, Evelyn. <laughs> Evelyn, just try to kick up into the handstand and then come back down into your lunge, OK? Blakely, can I see your handstand? Mm -hmm. There you go. And then bring those arms back up tall into that lunge. I'm still watching. You guys are doing great. Evelyn, are you hiding behind a basketball hoop? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So those are different skills that we can do that have us go upside down for our gymnastics, okay? Because once we get once we're able to do these cartwheels and we're doing handstands, maybe one day you're gonna do a round off. Or maybe even one day you're gonna flip. And when you flip, you go upside down, all right? We're not there yet. We'll get there though, if we keep working hard like you guys do every time. So proud I'm of you. I'm learning how to do a round off. A round off? Yeah. We're, we're, that's for another day, not for today, okay? But these are, these are different skills that we're gonna be able to do one day if we keep working hard on our cartwheel and our handstand, all right? So we'll work our way towards the round off and towards flipping and all those fun things. But all of those, for all of those, we have to go upside down, all right? So this is just getting ourselves used to it, all right? So Coach Caitlin will be back with you guys on Thursday if you're able to do more gymnastics, okay? She'll be on at 11, all right? So let's do our virtual high five, fist bump, ready? High five, fist bump, boom, blow it up, bam. And let's do a firework clap, ready? Hands together, rub them together. What color was your firework? Mine was purple and blue. Purple and blue? 
Anyone else? Purple and blue. Purple and blue? Popular color. Mine was like one of those weeping willow fireworks. That's my favorite one. It's kind of like a golden bronze. What was that? Mine was a red. What yours was red? Red is a great color, like my, like my shirt. Oh. Oh yeah. Awesome. I have a red dress. Very nice dress. All right, guys. Um, have a great day. We'll see you again. All right. Good to see you all. Thanks for playing with me and working so hard. Very proud of you. Have a good one. Bye. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Bye, Bye Brooke. Say goodbye. Was that a caterpillar, Brooke? Oh, he saw it. Show it to him. Are you are you making a butterfly? He really wanted to show you before she signed off. Show oh, him. I'm. I can't. Can you show me one more time? Amelia's still here too, so she can see it. Wow, how many do you have in there? Five. You have five. You're gonna make five butterflies. That's incredible. Mm. So cool. Oh man, I'm I'm jealous of you getting to watch them grow and make their chrysalis and then they'll burst forth into a beautiful butterfly. That'll be so exciting. Can't wait. Awesome. Thank Make sure you think of some really beautiful names for your butterflies. For sure. You could go classic, you can go butterfly one, butterfly two, butterfly three, four. Or are you gonna name it something different? You can name them superhero names. Ooh, I like that. Like fun. We'll see, we'll see what they look like. like Alrighty. Woman. Like Wonder Woman, sure. All right. Well, have fun with your butterflies. Thank you. You're welcome. Good to see you again. Take care. Thanks so much. You're welcome.